Greetings from the back deck of the Harrington's house. I hope this video finds you doing well and that uh, you continue to grow in your faith and your relationship with God and with one another. We are going through some very difficult times. It's I've, I've not seen anything like this before. And for the past few weeks, there's just a passage that God continually reminds me of and I'm sure you're familiar with it but it talks in James as people were going through difficulties he says consider it all joy when you encounter various trials knowing that your that the testing of your faith produces endurance and let endurance have its steadfast work in you and so we hear the writer of James talking to the Christians and they obviously are going through difficult times. And let me just say that James is not saying here, act like nothing's going on. Don't be sad. He's not telling us to not be honest with our feelings and, and how this can be difficult, but he's actually saying, how do you respond to this? And what's the basis of your response? And the way we're to respond is we're to count it all joy, which it seems somewhat strange. How can we count something all joy that is actually difficult? And the reason that we can do that is because we know someone else who is bigger than this virus, who is bigger than the difficulties of our economy. I mean, I just think about the number of people that had it on their calendar to retire this year and how that they might be affected. I mean, and those things are, are, are really real things. But we know the God who controls more than the virus, more than our retirement. We can depend on him to do things in our life and do things for us that money, possessions, and just the pleasures of life can't do. And so what James is actually saying here is as you go through these difficulties and as you respond to them in a positive way, that it actually has an impact on your life. I think this is a great opportunity for Christians to demonstrate to unbelievers that they are the light of the world, that we have a hope that the world doesn't have, that our life doesn't end that uh, at, at when we die physically, that we have a God who's able to provide for us in ways that we can't even think or imagine. And so I just want to encourage you to spend some time reading this verse, to spend some time actually proclaiming what it is telling us to do count it all joy because by doing so it will cause you and I to grow and we will be a light to the world that communicates that we have a God who holds us in his hand who protects us and he loves us so much that he allows us to grow, go through these things so that we can experience more of who he is. So I just want to encourage you, count it all joy when you go through various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces endurance and let it have its steadfast work in you. Have a great day.